Welcome to Cook Food Good, the show where I teach you how to cook food good and do other things too, but really only the cooking. This is a show where we take simple ingredients and we cook them as cheaply and practically as possible to try and give you the survival skills you need in the zombie apocalypse. If you know how to prepare a pork tenderloin, you know how to prepare a human tenderloin. A little fennel crust on there? Ooh, that'd be lovely. Today we're making the breakfast classic, scrambled eggs. You might say, Josh, scrambled eggs, that's crazy. I've never heard of those. Your mind is about to be blown. First thing, you might be asking, what's the difference between brown eggs and white eggs? I don't know, Google it. You can tell the quality of a good egg by the yolk color. So if you have a dark orange yolk, that's a good ass egg. If you have a pale yellow yolk, that's still a pretty good ass egg. Eggs are pretty good food. We have two methods. What? No, there's like thousands of methods. We, as in me, have two methods. The first one is a soft scramble. This is like if you wake up early on a Sunday and you're like, I'm ambitious today. I wanna to cook a brunch. I wanna make these like nice, soft, custardy, silken scrambled eggs. There was a time in my life where I would wake up to six scrambled eggs every single day without fail. I am not in that time of my life anymore. Let's go three. Three seems like a nice round number. You always crack your eggs against a flat surface. You never wanna crack them against the side of the bowl. You may get eggshell into the eggs. And if you do get eggshells in your eggs, I'll teach you how to fish them out. Let me, here, I'm gonna screw it up intentionally. This is a good way to hedge your bets. Tell someone you're gonna screw up intentionally, then when you screw up, you don't look like you've been doing it your whole life. Just gonna crack an egg against the board and say, oh no, a little piece of shell got in the egg. Take half of an eggshell and then you're gonna dip this in and then boom, we got an eggshell out with an eggshell. Look at that, and wow, incredibly helpful tip, Josh. Thanks, you're welcome. There are a lot of myths about salting in scrambled eggs. People say, if you add salt to scrambled eggs too long before you cook it, they'll become watery and tough. It's just not true. Gordon Ramsay is one of them. In his scrambled egg video, that has 40 million views. Oh yeah, you don't want to salt until right at the end. Hey, bruv, absolutely bogus. There's a chef named Daniel Gritzer for Serious Eats, salted eggs, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, zero minutes before he cooked them. There's literally no difference. Remember when you found out that your parents were just normal people who were flawed and like kind of trying their best? That's what most chefs are who tell you things to do when you cook, me included. In five years, someone's gonna go back through these videos and just be like, yeah, you don't need to pound out chicken breast. Just add a pinch depending on how much salt you like. You're gonna take a whisk and you're gonna get in there and beat the crap out of it. You can't really overbeat eggs either. You wanna incorporate it fully. I would recommend using a balloon whisk. If you don't have a whisk, you can always use a <laughs> You can always use a fork, not to be too bougie, but I actually happen to be the owner of two forks. I like to double up the surface area of my whisking tool. Then you're just gonna get in there, add about a tablespoon of butter per three scrambled eggs. And you're gonna get this very gently melting in the pan. Do you ever just watch butter melt? Soothing. Sometimes I need to be soothed. So what you're gonna do is you can add about a tablespoon of milk. You add milk to eggs, it basically becomes a custard. And now what we're gonna do is add our eggs to that. And then don't whisk it because you're gonna scratch up your pot. Take some sort of flat utensil and you are going to stir your pan constantly. You wanna keep it on completely low heat. And what this is going to do, it's gonna break up the curds of the scrambled egg and you get a nice even cook. If your scrambled eggs look a little bit underdone, that is the perfect time to pull them. They're going to actually continue to cook inside the bowl or the plate. So this should look like some what of a chunky cottage cheese? I'm selling this dish really, really well. The key to soft scrambled eggs is patience. Practice that mindfulness exercise that you took in that one very easy A college course that I'm assuming we all took. We learned how to meditate. One class, they just made us eat a raisin for 45 minutes, that was it. That's what I'm in debt for. And I'm pretty good at eating raisins now. They're a little bit underdone for what we want, which is why I'm gonna pull it. Look at that. That's a perfect little soft scramble. You see it's like a little bit slidey on the plate. There's like a tiny, tiny bit of run right there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of black pepper, dust that over the top. That is gorgeous. They're super, super fudgy. This would be great on toast. Boy, I wish I had bread in my home. They just completely melt in your mouth. You can just kind of slurp it, listen. <laughs> Well, I'm embarrassed. I guess I can still eat the eggs, right? It's only my spit. So you've seen how to make a soft scramble and now we're gonna go to the hard scramble, which is even easier and for my money, kind of the best method. So we're gonna crack three eggs into that bowl. I've already eaten six eggs today. You guys didn't see this, but I screwed up the first batch of eggs, ate all three of those. Made the second batch of eggs that you saw on camera, ate all three of those. What am I gonna do when I cook these three eggs? You bet your ass I'm gonna eat all these eggs. So this is a nine egg breakfast for moi. So you're gonna add about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt to those eggs, and then use a whisk to just really beat them up. Now for the soft scramble method, I added about a tablespoon of whole milk. But for the hard scramble method, I'm not gonna do that. People who add milk to eggs and go like, it makes them fluffier. That's like saying you can add a quarter cup of water to your ground beef and your hamburgers are gonna be juicier. It's like, no, your hamburgers are gonna be wetter and taste like water. Your eggs are gonna be wetter and taste like milk, but that doesn't make them better eggs in my opinion. And then we're gonna take the pan and we're gonna heat it on high. Don't spray Pam at an open flame. Always take Pam, 
and lube up your pan. You'll notice that I'm not using butter. You can use butter if you want. Butter's probably the tastiest option. If you go to a diner, they're not using like this cultured Normandy butter. They got a squeeze bottle full of something weird, viscous, and yellow that they spray on a flat top and you have no idea what's in it. Anything you want to lube up your pan, you can do it. All right, so we have our pan on high heat and we're gonna pour our eggs in there. You want to hear just a little bit of sizzle. And I'm using a small saute pan this time because I want more surface area contact with the eggs but I really like to have like a sheet of eggs. Cause you go to Denny's and you don't get like tiny little curds of scrambled egg. Nah, you get one big old sheet and that's what I like. So I get it here and then I let it sit on the pan for about 10 seconds, just heating the bottom side and that's gonna heat it all the way through and almost kind of steam the top part of the egg. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna flip it onto a plate and then you're gonna eat it when you grab a clean fork. Back to you, Tina. Wait, I'm glad I forgot a fork cause I also forgot the most important ingredient to a good hard scrambled egg and that is ketchup. If you do not dip your eggs in ketchup, we probably wouldn't like each other in real life. I know you're sitting there and you're like, me and Joe should probably be friends. No, 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 if you're not dipping your eggs in ketchup, we're not friends. Dip it in ketchup, and it's so satisfying. Reminds me of times when we were allowed to go to Denny's. I had a good scrambled egg. Thank you so much for joining us in Mythical Kitchen. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with hashtag dreams become food. Show us pictures of your eggs. Leave a comment telling us what mythical dishes you want to see next. Listen to our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, coming out every Wednesday. And we got new recipe videos out every week. I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to eat uh, eggs seven, eight, and nine right now. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron. Available now at mythical.com.